Hey, I just called T3 to have him find you, and he said you were already on the way. That's some impressive timing. What are you doing here, Theron? Digging, just like I said I would. Let me show you what I've got so far. Colonel Derrick commanded our strike on Korriban, supposedly to gather valuable intelligence data, none of which has been turned over to the SIS. This is the Sith you spoke to on Tython, Darth Arcus, member of the Dark Council, organizer of the attack on the Jedi Temple. You found a connection between them? Yes. They've both been paying visits to the same genetics lab in an underwater facility here on Manan. They're headed down there again as we speak. Is it some kind of medical treatment facility? Experimental research? Something else? There's no documentation for the lab's purpose, but traffic in and out is mostly freight, not passenger. Probably research, which fits my other findings. With Derek and Arcus working together, the timing of the attacks makes perfect sense. They weren't really attacks at all, they were robberies. Robberies? What do you mean? The imps hauled something out of the Jedi Temple just before you got there. A few security hollows were still working, so I got a shot of it. Derek's top guy, Commander Jensen, grabbed something similar on Korriban. I ran the images through some databases. They were pieces of ancient Rakata technology. Any technology that the Sith would keep under lock and key must be bad. Agreed. I'm pretty sure Derek and Arcus have brought their Rakata tech to the lab. You're gonna have to go in and figure out exactly what they're doing with it. There. I've arranged transport to get you in, but security will probably come after you with more than smiles. Don't let them slow you down. While you're searching the lab for Arcus and Derek, I'm gonna meet with one last contact. I think she might have some interesting intel for us. She? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Good luck down there. Greetings! My master compliments your impressive skill, and would like to share his appreciation for this noble rescue. You don't need to clarify your master's words. I understand them perfectly well. Oh dear. Please let us out of here. We beg you! <laughs> Why don't we start with who you are and how you got here in the first place? My esteemed master Jakaro is a specialist in discreet cargo delivery. I am his translator, C2D4, former servant of Revenant's Queen Lena of... <coughs> yes, well. Jakaro was contracted by a Selkath geneticist, Garima, to deliver certain medical equipment, perfectly legal, to this facility. But once the delivery was made, payment was never rendered. Instead, we were imprisoned and interrogated by two very unpleasant individuals. <laughs> Colonel Derek and Darth Arcus? We were never introduced. Very rude, to be perfectly honest. After the interrogation, they told Garima to use us as fodder for some kind of experiments. What kind of genetic experiments would call for a Wookiee and a droid? Thanks to your timely intervention, I hope we'll never have to find out. Your story checks out. Just a little digging on these two. Charges against them both for smuggling, disorderly conduct, assault. Even the droid? Yeah, why do you ask? Never mind. Uh, whatever they may have done, my contact has a good feeling about it. Thinks they might come in handy. Let's see if she's right. All right, we're in this together. Ready? Are you Garima? As he goes, Gato, um, favor, the copy. Tani is as he goes, that. You need to stop what you're doing and answer my questions. As Uge fed a leg job as Urig Fiko had milked Aki Sok. I want to know what Derek and Arcus are planning. What are you doing here? Volta sack fek ut azo negre. Akon ivolomar. 
meg bizható szad meg, szézé melesz nehéz volt felis merni. Hogy ne kunk, toli rász egy más fonál ez, meg egy ítéletet. A tenger fejlénes az egyes. Folio semi sem ugin is it key What are you waiting for do it before he has a chance to betray us again You don't have to be like him Jakaro you can be better <laughs> Well that explains the dead guards I knew I sensed someone familiar. I told you to let it go. You did your part. None of this concerns you. What is this all about, Derek? Why are you doing this? To save the galaxy. Gorima, thank you for forwarding the research data along. Our infinite army will serve us well. You can keep the prototypes. entire galaxy, the Republic, the Empire, everyone, we can't let you interfere. Before the facility reaches crush depth, it will probably be more comfortable that way. Hello again. I am afraid that all of the emergency pods have been ejected, and all hatches leading back to the facility entrance are sealed. Fortunately, I procured a small watercraft for just this eventuality. The autopilot should have it docked at a hatch near your location shortly. Please hurry. Apologies, but the remote docking procedure isn't quite finished. You're a Sith. But not your enemy. Not today. Now, are you interested in a ride back, or would you prefer to swim? Sith or not, I won't turn down a helping hand. I do appreciate a pragmatic mind. <coughs> and there we are. Your transportation is ready. Safe travels. It might put everyone at ease if you ditch the lightsaber. Is that really necessary? Surely I'm not as intimidating as you imply. Your mastery of the dark side is plain enough, but I also sense your intentions. You mean no harm. Theron mentioned that you were quite perceptive. I'm Lana Benico. Arcus manipulated her and her people, same as Derek did to us. She's already shared a lot of good intel. Based on your work in the lab, we know that Arcus and Derek are working together, manipulating both sides for some third party. They're Revanites, members of the Order of Revan, a secretive cult that's had its claws in the Empire for many years. It seems they've pierced the Republic now as well. How large is this cult? What kind of resources do they have? Given what you uncovered in the lab, they're much larger and better funded than we'd ever guessed. We know the Revanites have highly placed moles in both the Republic and the Empire. That means we have no idea who we can really trust. Then it's up to us to stop them. <laughs> My master, the incomparable Star Captain Jakaro, is more interested in action than discussion. 
And this is his translator, C2D4. Former interpreter for Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Antaran. Yeah, we got that earlier. All of it. I saw your list of known accomplices earlier. Quite impressive. Could any of them help us find where these traitors might be hiding? <coughs> Superb. Then if Theron agrees... Go ahead and get the ship prepped. I'll cover our tracks and catch up. Very well. It's been a pleasure meeting you. May the Force ever serve you. You'd better travel separately. If the Revanites put a tail on us, they won't know which to follow. I don't think these cultists realize who they're up against. Suits me. I better get moving. Watch your back out there. There you are. Our first few interviews with Jakaro's friends went well, believe it or not. We're going to start with some antique smugglers from the Exchange. See if the Revanites have gone for any other Rakata tech. Have you found any traces of Colonel Derek or Darth Arcus? Not one. Apparently, the Revanites know a thing or two about staying hidden. The Order of Revan. <laughs> My family has even more pull than I thought. You're related to Revan? You never heard that story? Bastila Shan, Revan's great Jedi love? The name made it all the way down to me, even if the Force didn't. Look, Revan was a wild card, and his crazy cult of followers is bound to be the same. Highly trained bravado aside, we're up against some long odds here. You sure you still want to be dragged into all this? I follow the will of the Force. As long as I'm needed, I'll help. It's as simple as that. Just like Master Zhou always said. All right, I'd better get back to Lana and Jakaro before they... do anything. I'll get in touch as soon as we get something concrete. Stay safe. <laughs> 